think this will have an impact upon uh, the political discourse, the nature of the political discourse in your country over the coming weeks and months? Well, politics is a rough business in Britain uh, and in Poland, uh, quite the same. One does mourn even the people that one disagrees uh, with. Um, and we had, uh, of the 18 parliamentarians on board, we had uh, people from every party. And um, uh, just the previous week, literally the, the two days before the crash, I presented my annual information about foreign policy to Parliament. So I crossed swords with some of those people. And of course, one, one regrets them terribly as well. Um, uh, Polish democracy is lively, and, and, and debate uh, is lively too. Uh, and uh, you in Britain know a thing or two about it. Um, but it's healthy for democracy to, to have that. Uh, the transfer of power, power happens smoothly. The Polish economy is still growing. The institutions of the state have proved their worth. Um, both the uh, logistical operation of bringing uh, the bodies of the departed ones from Moscow and of organizing um, funerals, including two state funerals of heads of state, because we lost not just the president, but also the last Polish president in exile who came back from, from Britain. Um, and this was all done in a matter of hours. Um, and, um, and we're quite pleased about how uh, the, uh, the, the institutions have kicked into gear. Well, I think, I think the world has noted the, the, the calm and the dignity that, that, that did uh, color all of the, uh, the, the ceremonies uh, that, that Poland has conducted in the last few days. But let me ask you this. Do you think it is wise to contemplate presidential elections, and you've said Polish politics is traditionally a rough business, to contemplate presidential elections within a couple of months? Well, I think two months is, uh, is plenty of time. Um, remember, the, the powers of the Polish presidency are pretty limited. The, the president appoints ambassadors, uh, heads of the armed services, professors, judges, can veto legislation but has no executive powers. Um, but, 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 and, with, but with respect, uh, Foreign Minister, it, it sort of, of depends... Sorry to interrupt, but it does sort of depend <laughs> on the identity of, of the president, doesn't it? We have seen Polish presidents in the recent past who've been really quite interventionist when it comes to trying to shape foreign and defence policy in particular. Well, no. Uh, foreign and defence policy, just like um, internal affairs, are firmly... Uh, in the hands of the cabinet, um, and the, the president uh, represents uh, the decisions taken by the cabinet, just like in Britain, uh, to the outside world. You wanted to run for president. As it happens, you, you lost in the sort of nominating primary for your party, the civic platform, to, to the current speaker now, uh, temporary interim president, who will fight for your party for the presidency. It may be that he will run against um, Yaroslav Kaczynski, who, of course, you know, has, has lost his brother, the, the, the president. That's going to be extraordinarily difficult, isn't it? Do you think it would be wise for Mr. Kaczynski, Yaroslav Kaczynski, to, to run? Well, we will know on Saturday when the opposition party will have its, uh, its meeting at which they will decide. Um, he must be going through such a difficult period uh, because he lost more of his party, uh, a bigger proportion of his top people than we did, and he's, he lost a brother. His mother is in, in uh, hospital and probably doesn't know that her other son is dead. So he's going through, through a, a very, very difficult period, and I, I'm in no position to advise him. No, and I wouldn't ask you to advise him, but I just would ask you to reflect on this. This is a man who, for whom there is obviously a vast reservoir of, of national sympathy right now for very understandable reasons. Is that the right context, you think, to, to run for head of state of your country? Well, he may feel that he needs to take forward the torch 
uh, that's been passed on to him by his departed brother. That's, that's really up to him. Um, we have decided on our candidate, and we just hope that the campaign is, is, uh, is, is more dignified than, in, than, than, than it would have been otherwise. And I think it will be, uh, because I think the mood of the country requires it. A final thought on, on, on all the ramifications of, of the tragedy before I move on and ask you some questions about, about Poland's foreign policy and, and st strategic direction. But a final thought. I was taken by the words of President Krasniewski, which relates to what I've just been talking about uh, with the position of Yaroslav Kaczynski. Uh, President, Ex-President Krasniewski felt it was a mistake that, that President Lech Kaczynski was laid to rest in the Wawel Cathedral in, in Krakow. He said that was a step too far. His party, uh, the Law and Justice Party, are eager to create a new myth, a new hero, but the Polish people are too clever not to see through this intention. Did you have doubts about that as well? I have a private view about it, but I won't express it. I think uh, now that the decision, not only has the decision been taken, but we've actually buried the president in, in our um, royal um, castle. Um, I think history will judge whether, whether this decision has stood the test of time or not.